Hey, this video is multiplying integers using the chip model. My learning target is I can represent integer operations with concrete models and connect the actions with the models to standard algorithms. So just a reminder that multiplication is when we combine equal groups and it is basically repeated addition. So here we have an example of 4 times 2 equals 8. So we would make 4 groups of 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4 of 2. And this equals positive 8. It also can be said as 2 groups of 4. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Alright, when there is negatives involved... Negative basically means opposite. So if we have negative 4 times negative 3, this is a typo, let me fix it real quick. Negative 4 times negative 3, it is basically the opposite of 4, positive 4 times negative 3. So that's if we have two negatives in our multiplication problem. We need to think of it that way. All right, number 1 is we have five groups of 2. And they are positive. So that means our answer is two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, now we have 3 times 4, so 3 groups of 4. So this is 4, 8, 12. So positive 12 is our answer. All right, number three. I'm going to rewrite this as four times negative one. So I'm going to say this is four groups of negative one. So one, two, three, Four. So that ends up being negative four. All right, this is where we have the double negatives. So I'm going to say that we have six groups of negative three. All right, so if I count these all up, this is negative 18, and then I'm looking for the opposite of negative 18, and that is going to be positive 18. All 
All right, we are going to look at this as the opposite of 7, I'm sorry, opposite of 4 times negative 2. Let me write this properly over here. All right, so I'm going to make four groups of negative 2. So this ends up being negative 8, and I want the opposite of negative 8, which makes it positive 8 as my answer. All right, number six is three times negative five, so I'm gonna do three groups of negative five, or you can do five groups of negative three. All right, and that's going to end up being negative 15. All right, negative seven times negative two. I'm going to change that to the opposite of seven times negative two. So I'm going to do seven groups of negative 2. So that ends up being negative 14, so I want the opposite of negative 14. So my answer is positive 14. Number eight, I have two groups of negative three. Two times negative three. That ends up being negative six. All right, number nine, it is common to feed your dogs one cup of food a day. How many cups of food would you feed your dog in a week? So a week is seven days. So we would have seven groups of one. This is basically, or one group of seven, one times seven. So my answer would be seven cups. Thanks for watching.